Uh, hello, my name is uh, Ondřej Šupka and I am senior product manager uh, for rifles uh, product portfolio of Česká zbrojovka Uherský brod, or CZUB. And I would like to introduce you a little bit to our whole new uh, CZ600 centerfire uh, rifle series. So the CZ600 is a uh, substitute for the CZ527 and 557 series. We actually merged uh, those two sizes of receivers together, or merge isn't ac actually the correct uh, word because we actually introduced uh, the CZ600 in three different sizes. As you can see, uh, we are coming in size mini, which is uh, meant for calibers like uh, 223 Remington, 762 by 39 and so on. Uh, then you've got the medium receiver, sort of short action, that uh, can encapsulate uh, 308 Winchester, 6 Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor or 6.5 PRC. And then you've got your long receiver, long action, and that one is for calibers like 3006 Springfield, 8x57 IS or 300 Winchester Magnum. And that's actually also uh, the calibers that we are starting off with. Uh, so we've got five models in this okay. uh, series for now. This one uh, we are standing uh, next to is CZ600 Alpha. This is meant as the basic model of the line. Uh, it is uh, considered as a, a workhorse rifle for everyday use. So it's got a polymer stock with uh, checkering inlets. Uh, it's got a uh, dual aluminium receiver with integrated Picatinny rail and semi-heavy profile barrel. As for the receivers, I already told that we've got three sizes, but we also have two materials. Uh, this one, as I said, is dual, dual aluminium that is hard anodized, but we also have steel receivers uh, that are nitrated, and you will see it uh, in the next models. Okay. As for the barrels, this barrel is semi-heavy profile. Uh, that's one of the three profiles we currently have. This is actually something in between, between the Varmin barrel that we will see on the CZ600 uh, range and the Finwood or American barrel that is on model CZ600 Lux and Ergo. Uh, but the important thing is the rifle is uh, uh, designed with high level of modularity. So you are not limited to the variants I am presenting here, but it is configurable to the user desires. So for example, you can switch the stocks, you can change the barrel profiles, you can even change calibers on a user level, but we will get okay. to that later. Okay. So as I said, the CC600 Alpha. Uh, now we can probably move uh, move forward to okay. the uh, to the other model. That's the CZ 600 Max. Okay. Uh, this is a traditional European style rifle with the Bavarian uh, Bavarian comb and cheek piece, and also with a decorative schnabel tip. It is uh, shipped with uh, fin vault barrel with mechanical sides that are adjustable for both elevation and windage. They can also be removed if you need to use an over barrel receiver because all our uh, barrels, regardless of the model, are threaded. Uh, usually it's M15 by one uh, thread uh, okay. with the exception of uh, CZ600 range. Uh, that one, due to the thickness of the barrel, uses the M18 by one thread. Okay. As you can see, uh, I already mentioned this, this model actually uses the steel receiver that is nitrided, just as are all other metallic parts that are not stainless or plastic. So uh, the whole rifle is corrosion resistant, which is a great improvement uh, in comparison to the older series 527 and 557, which were only blued. Okay. So uh, for another features that we have, maybe this will be better. We are now have a uh, magazine version only, mostly with capacity 5 plus 1, with the exception of 6.5 PRC and 300 Winchester Magnum. Due to the thickness of the cartridges, those are 3 plus 1. Uh, here we, you can always see uh, what car uh, cartridge or caliber the magazine is designed. For the small receiver, we've got the different magazines for different calibers because of the differences between the cartridges. But if we can take, for example, the medium size receiver, you can see that we can actually utilize one magazine for each caliber we are offering in this uh, receiver size. Okay. 
Another cool thing is that we understand that some people are not that much fancy of the detachable magazines. For those, we have magazine lock, which is uh, engaged by pre uh, pressing the magazine release forward. And now the magazine is locked and you can treat it as your standard box magazine uh, and feed it from the top. From the top yes, yeah. yes. As you can see me operating the bolt, there has been also changes in comparison to 5.7 and 5.27. And that's ex uh, actually the bolt throw. We are now having 60 degrees bolt throw compared to uh, 90 degrees that was in uh, Mauser systems of 5.27 and push feed system of the 5.57. Okay, what, what's that? I've got to ask, what's that there? Uh, this, is, uh, this is a re reinforcing screw for the uh, for the wooden stock ah, okay. you will not find it on the polymer stocks because they uh, they don't need this uh, type of reinforcement this okay. is to prevent uh, the, uh, the stock against cracking and longer durability ah, okay. talking about the receiver let's take a more deep look into it here you can see uh, actually the removal of the of the bolt by the bolt removal button and as you can see we are now locking uh, the bolt directly into the barrel okay. that allows uh, that allows several things first the 60 degree bolt throw uh, second the uh, caliber change capability and third uh, the possibility to have either steel or duraluminium receiver because the receiver no longer withstands pressure because it is not being locked into. Right, got you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We've got six locking locks in the medium and long size receiver and three locking locks for the uh, mini size receiver. If I am to change uh, the caliber on this rifle, I would normally uh, disassemble the stock via these two screws, then remove the action and here you would see three screws that are clamping the barrel into the receiver. Those screws need to be loosened and then you can simply slide off the barrel and you will put another one and okay. it can be a different barrel profile or it can be different caliber. In case you are switching to a caliber that uh, has the same cartridge diameter, you don't need to change anything else. But in case you are changing a caliber that has different di diameter, for example from 308 Winchester to 6.5 PRC, you also need to change the bolt head. That is done also quite easily. There is a pictogram on the bolt cap with open clock. You turn the bolt cap into the direction and the whole trigger pin, assemb uh, firing pin assembly comes off. This is also convenient for cleaning after uh, many rounds has been, yeah. has been shot and you can you can get in stoppages. Otherwise, it is not required at all. Okay. We've removed uh, uh, the firing pin assembly. Now I can push on the ejector and slide the bolt head out. Mm -hmm. Now I can uh, uh, place a new bolt head out again, push on the ejector. And, and now I need to ensure that this dot is aligned with the striker nut. Okay. So I slide it on and now I need to press against the, against the firing pin spring so it needs a little bit of power and turn it towards me or the, or the pictogram of the locked lock just a little bit so that the striker nut is aligned with the protrusion on the bottom of the barrel. And as you can see and this is a really cool feature. We are getting back to the controlled feeding. We had this on 5.27s and on 5.57s we had uh, the standard Remington push feed system. But the controlled feeding is a feature that we wanted to get back to. So uh, we designed a completely new system of a bolt that is actually patented. And it uses short extractor that uh, catches the uh, cartridge as it as it pops out of the of the magazine yeah. and guides it back and forth until you lock the bolt or tur uh, turn it back and only when you only when you get to the end of the pathway of the bolt and actually depress the spring loaded ejector the cartridge it. releases right, so good. you are in uh, in control not only of the cartridge but also of the speed uh, in which it will eject right and as uh, as you could see uh, regarding the reinserting the bolt what we like to do is to press the button entirely slide it about half 
uh, half into it, release the button and give a little wiggle to the bolt okay, once it clicks. And now you are sure you, can, uh, you, you are sliding in the correct position. Right. So that's for the bolt, uh, the locking system, the magazine. I also, uh, I also mentioned uh, the barrels. So I think the last thing uh, we should discuss is the trigger mechanism and safety. But uh, for that, we can perhaps move to another model. Okay. So the third model in our line is the CZ600 Ergo. This is again polymer stock uh, rifle, but with the thumb hole design that is getting popular, especially in Western Europe. So uh, we wanted to go uh, towards this trend and introduce uh, this particular model that has got a sort of softened uh, rubberized grips that are very comfortable to hold and the rifle is uh, designed especially with lightweight in mind so you've got the polymer stock you've got the dual aluminium receiver and you've got the same fin vault barrel as on the lux but without mechanical side so we are uh, we are assuming the shooter will be using uh, the rifle scope or thermal device of any uh, of any kind again just as previously m15 by one threading uh, the same bolt system so now let's talk trigger and safety. Uh, what is again a new and a patented feature on the CZ600 is the trigger mechanism. As you can see, there is a, a little screw that is notched for four positions. One, two, three and four. Okay. Uh, this allows you to change the weight of the trigger pull without the need to disassemble the rifle completely. With the, with the rifle you, you get in the shipping a small 1.5 mm Allen key that you insert into the screw, turn 90 degrees and once it clicks you are on a different trigger pull weight. We are starting on number one that is approximately 600 to 650 grams yeah. and then uh, with 200 gram increments you are getting to position 4 which is about 1300 grams that uh, is for this single stage trigger that we've got on models ergo lux alpha and range uh, from factory we are setting them for position 2 apart from the range which is uh, which is a target rifle and it's meant for precision shooting that's for the, uh, that's on number one but as i said it's completely on the user which position he decides uh, he decides to choose and in case he changes his mind he can change it anytime even on high stand okay. and now let's move forward to the CZ600 range. The 600 range is primarily a target shooting model, uh, but it can be also used for long distance hunting scenarios. It is rather a heavy rifle, which ensures its stability and shootability. Uh, as you can see, we are again using the steel receiver, a heavy varmint barrel with 22 mm diameter on the muzzle with M18 by one threading. Uh, this barrel is a little bit different to the barrels of the other models uh, because of the guaranteed accuracy. For uh, standard hunting models, that is Alpha, Lux and Ergo, we are guaranteeing sub-MOA uh, precision uh, shot for 100 meters with three shot groups. On the range, we are actually guaranteeing sub quarter MOA, uh, sorry, three quarter MOA uh, on 100 meter with five rounds. Other than that, uh, range has got a laminated wood stock with adjustable cheek piece that doesn't need any tools for adjusting. You simply unscrew or loosen this, uh, 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 this screw, adjust the cheek piece to your needs and retighten and stow. As you can see, the grip is contoured for uh, so, so almost 90, degree, uh, 90 degrees uh, pistol grip, uh, which helps for uh, shooting prone or sitting. You've got this nice palm uh, uh, swell, stippling for, uh, for better gripping, and also this contour for your supporting hands or sticks, or, and also a short Picatinny segment for using monopod with bipod, which can be attached uh, 
via slings we will start. We also have QD sling, swivel, uh, QD sling cups on both sides of the stock for carrying. And uh, here we can discuss uh, the last important feature of the CZX600, which is in basically every model. As I was talking about the trigger mechanism, this one is set from the factory to position one, which is about 600 to 650 grams, so it is very crisp. And we've got here the safety. And the safety is another cool and patented feature on the CZ600. It is a vertical button that protrudes from top of the tank of the pistol grip to its bottom. Okay. So to engage the safety, I am pushing from the bottom and now, the, uh, now, as you can see, with the white color, uh, the safety is engaged. The rifle is safe, the bolt is locked. In case I would like to check the chamber, uh, remove, uh, remove the cartridge or uh, need to disassemble without touching the trigger, I just push the bolt, uh, bolt release button and the lock is overridden. And I can eject the, uh, eject the cartridge, remove the bolt, continue with disassembly, clean the rifle, whatever. And as you can see, to disengage safety, all I need to do is simply push down with my thumb, so it is a positive safety. And as you can see, it is a very ergonomic position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So imagine you are on the high stand, the target comes, you've got your, uh, you've got, uh, your safety on, and you can aim down your sights, make ready for a shoot, disengage safety, and I'm shooting. Mm, yeah. As, uh, as you could probably hear, the safety itself is quite uh, quiet, yeah, yeah. but if you take that extra, uh, extra effort and, for example, use your uh, index finger to help slow down the button, Without it can be key. made yeah. completely silent. Right. So that was the 300 range. And to finish off, we've got one a little bit special model okay. of the CD600. And that's the CZ600 Trail. It is a rifle that can be used for many different purposes. Mainly it is a uh, fun shooting range shooting gun, but it is also can be used for backpacking, survivalists, bushcrafters, uh, or even uh, or even hunters that are doing nachzuche, so uh, so hunting for the wounded animals. Yeah. Uh, this is a little bit different system. It still uses the same barrels and the bolt. However, uh, we are now not using our proprietary, uh, proprietary magazine for CZ600, but it is uh, utilized to use AR-15 magazines yeah, for uh, 223 Remington okay. caliber and brand two magazines for 762 by 39 caliber. These are 10 rounded magazines. With it, it uh, all the standard AR or brand two uh, controllers come naturally. So it's ambidextrous magazine release, an ambidextrous safety that is now uh, moved to the side of the rifle just like you would have on the modern sporting rifle. Yeah. The button that is uh, used for uh, safety engage and disengage on the standard 600 uh, models here serves as a controller for the collapsible stock oh, I see. that has in total four positions. The collapsed, right. one, two and three so it is a very compact rifle that can be strapped to the to the uh, to the side of a backpack and uh, is uh, rather light lightweight uh, the rifle in both configuration weighs about 2.8 uh, kilograms the chassis itself is a reinforced uh, fiber polymer uh, so basically the same material uh, brand to uh, lower receiver is made from it is using also ar15 pattern uh, pistol grips with uh, our interchangeable backstraps that are also uh, same for ccp09 uh, pistols it has uh, the all the way going picatinny rail uh, on the top on the top of the aluminium receiver and going through the aluminium forend with m lock interface on the 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. 
it has a short segment of Picatinny rail for using with, mo uh, with monopod on the on the butt pad, and also has QD uh, sling cup on the on the on the buttstock as well, which can be accompanied with another QD cup uh, attached, for example, via the MLock interface. Can you, sorry to interrupt, can you put that to a left-handed uh, version? Unfortunately, no, because uh, it, uh, it would collide with the with the ball handle. As you can see, we've got, uh, we've got a, spe a special type of ball handle here, which, uh, which uh, allows for very comfortable, very comfortable reloading. Yeah, yeah. Naturally, given the fact that this is a standard AR-15 magazine, uh, which needs to have uh, the last round bolt hold open ability yeah. disabled, the movement of the bolt is not as smooth as on the other CZ600 series. However, once you load up the magazine and you are actually chambering, it works like mm. a charm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, the last different thing on this model is actually the trigger. Uh, I previously said that all the 600s have a single stage trigger, but this is not true in case of the CZ600 trail. We've got a two stage trigger here with nice easy single stage uh, which can be adjusted via the same Allen key uh, as you are using for the pull of the second stage uh, for, uh, in this case that breaks around here. Uh, the weight on those four settings are a little bit higher. If I remember correctly, we are starting off at about 800 grams and going up to one and a half kilogram. So I think that's basically it. Of course, same as the as the hunting models of the CZ600, even here you can change the calibers. However, uh, we've got this model only in the small receiver because of the AR-15 and Brent 2 magazines. So you, are, you can change between the 22 Remington and 762 by 39 Apart from changing the barrel and bolt head, here you would be also removing or inserting this magazine well insert to compensate the differences between the AR-15 and Brent 2 magazines or 223 and 762 by 39 and also adding or removing a washer underneath this button. So basically you've got the same uh, caliber change as you had uh, in the brand two sporting rifles. Brilliant. Okay. And that's well, probably it. Okay, thank you very much for that. Thank, thank you. Thank you.